Welcome to ENS191 Engineering Economy Module 2 Engineers Role and Decisions. So for this lesson, we will be discussing the, the role that engineer play in the construction firm and what tools and techniques are available to it to improve firm's profits. So this does not only pertain to civil engineers. So um, engineering economy could, could also be used by um, mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, um, electrical engineers on different firms. So here's a construction firm, whether it's in the plant, in um, business firms, na uh, may mga engineering services. So by the end of this module, you should be able for you should be able to first define the role of an engineer in a firm in terms of making profit and understand the different types of strategies needed in making engineering economic decisions. So, <clears throat> so as a first time student of engineering economy, you must be wondering kung bakit natin pinag-aaralan yung engineering economy, yung mga money related na mga subject. In fact, as we know, um, engineering is mostly all about designing. So you might ask, what role do engineers play within a firm or a construction firm? Or what specific tasks are assigned to engineers to improve a firm's profits? Now, engineers are called upon to participate in a variety of decision-making processes ranging from manufacturing and marketing to finances. So, if a manufacturing of a product is involved, Engineers do participate in decision-making processes from, like, from production to um, uh, uh, selling. So, this is what you call engineering economic decisions. So these are um, uh, uh, economic-related decisions where the engineer's uh, mastery or um, knowledge is required. So... Uh, in manufacturing goods, engineering is involved from conceptual design to shipping, especially for mga machines, mga, uh, motors, mga engines, or mga um, chemical related to mga substances. So, yun. Engineers must consider the effective use of fixed capital assets such as buildings and machinery. So, yun yung uh, kailang gawin ng isang engineer. So, one of the engineer's primary tasks is to plan for the acquisition of equipment, which is the capital expenditure, that will enable the firm to design and manufacture products economically. So, I meaning ito is, after designing, so, you engineer no design, so say, isang um, manufacturing plan. So, you'll have to design yung mga dadaanan ng mga machineries ng isang product. So, the engineer will specify kung ano yung mga specifications ng machinery na kailangan. So, in that way, na-consider na doon yung uh, economical aspect ng uh, process. So, that will enable the firm to design and manufacture uh, products economically kasi naka-design na siya. So, that's why engineer is needed in uh, that kind of uh, decision makings. Now, making capital budgeting decisions. So, there is design, planning, investment, manufacturing, up to marketing, and the profit. So, engineering kind of decisions starts with the design. So, of course, sa engineering, design is one of the main uh, tasks ng isang engineer. So, after designing, meron ka ng design sa isang uh, building or isang plant. Uh, engineering is also involved sa planning and investments. Kasi siya yung nakakaalam ng mga kailangan ng mga equipment, yung specification ng mga machineries na kailangan, yung mga, sa mga building materials. So still, engineers involved. Now next is sa manufacturing naman or so, kung sa building sa construction. So of course, does the engineer will supervise the construction or yung uh, manufacturing ng mga uh, equipment or products. Then, sa marketing. So, then, 
finally yung profit. So of course, dun na mag-earn yung isang engineer. So, so what are the types of strategic engineering economic decisions? It is necessary to establish procedures for screening projects, of course. So, kaya, kaya nga kailangan may screening process. So, many large companies have specialized project analysis division that actively searches for new ideas, projects, and ventures. So, once project ideas are identified, they are typically classified as first is new products or product expansion, equipment and process selection, cost reduction, equipment replacement or service or quality improvement. So first is new products or product expansion. So this investment category are those that increase the revenues of a company if output is increased. So there are two common types of expansion decision problems. First is to increase the output of existing product or distribution facilities. So in this uh, investments in this category are those that increase the revenue of a company if output is increased. So of course, kung ikaw na nagproduce, if mas dadagdagan mo yung output mo or binebenta mo or ni so supply mo sa isang araw, say 100, gagawin 200. So automatically, talagang lalaki yung kita mo or yung revenue mo. So the question is, shall we build or otherwise acquire a new facility? So, if meron kang gustong uh, expansion or um, uh, this should, uh, another distribution facility, so it's either you construct a new facility or a new building or mag a ka na lang or mag -re rent ng isang uh, building where doon ilalagay yung magiging additional production mo. So, yan yung isa sa mga uh, kailangan pag-aralan pag ng isang engineer kung saan, siya, saan ba makaka- uh, safe or ano yung mas economical gagawa na ng bagong facility or mag a na lang kayo ng bibili na lang kayo ng bagong uh, property for that new facility now, second is considering of expenditures necessary to produce a new product or to expand into a new geographic area so these projects normally require large sums of money over long periods So, the second is equipment and process selection. So, in this class or engineering decision problem, this involves selecting the best course or action. So, it's all about kahit saan naman siguro when you have different um, choices or uh, actions to do, you will choose kung yung pinaka-best na uh, among those uh, selections. So, uh, selecting the best course or action when there are several ways to meet a project's requirement. So, question is, which of several proposed items or equipment shall we purchase for a given purpose? So, yung engineer magde-decide, may, may gusto kang output or may ganitong purpose, so, magde-decide kung ano yung maganda na equipment na ipo-purchase for that given purpose na makaka-generate ng largest savings among those uh, selection or Generate the largest return of investment or malaki yung uh, kita or less yung gastos. So, yan yung mga consider. Also, factors to be considered are machinery and equipment, yung tooling, yung labor. Kasi among those, among those courses of action, pwedeng iba-iba yung uh, cost sa labor, iba yung cost sa material. So, maraming consider So, yan yung um, uh, uh, role ng isang engineer. Uh, press and assembly, production and engineered scrap, number of dice and tools, the cycle times are various, various processes. So, the third one is cost reduction. A cost reduction project attempts to lower a firm's operating cost. So, this is whether a company should buy an equipment to perform an operation now done manually. So, say, may mga, sa mga uh, manufacturing, may mga 
uh, specific uh, especially may mga parts maraming parts yung production may mga parts na manual yung gumagawa so each other uh, bibili kayo ng bagong equipment para um, automated na yung uh, part na yun or in some other way spend money now in order to save more money later so the expected future cost cash inflows from this investment are savings resulting from lower operating cost. So, uh, hindi siya, kada, hindi siya uh, karagdagang kita but it is uh, in cash inflow due to lower operating cost. So, meaning savings yon sa production cost. So, uh, for example is produce a part for a product in-house or to buy it from a supplier to reduce the total production cost. So, so, sabi ko kanina, yung mga product na maraming parts, so it's either yung specific part na yun is ikaw na din yung gagawa or hahanap ka ng supplier ng specific part na yun para hindi ka na dalagdag ng another production cost in building that part. So, yan yung um, uh, pagtitimbay ng isang engineer. Depende sa uh, mga factors na affected or uh, to consider. So, that is the cost reduction project. Uh, uh, consideration. So this is commonly known as make or buy or outsourcing analysis. Now the fourth one is equipment replacement. So uh, in this category of investment, this involves considering the expenditure necessary to replace worn out or obsolete, obsolete equipment. So for example, a company may purchase 10 large presses with the expectation, expectation that it will produce stamped metals for 10 years. But after 5 years, however, it may become necessary to produce the parts in plastic, which would require retiring the presses early and purchase, purchasing plastic molding machines. So, merong mga, sa course of the time, merong mga new improvements, especially sa mga uh, products. So, for example, here, meron kang binili na uh, equipment for 10 years, but hindi pa dumating 10 years, meron ng bagong design yung product na yun, where in this case is plastic na yung material. So, hindi mo na siya, hindi mo na magagamit yung uh, equipment pa yun kasi pang steel yun. So, you'll have to require another press, plastic molding press, and uh, ma obsolete na yung equipment na una binili mo 5 years earlier. So sim similarly, a company may find that for competitive reasons, larger and more accurate parts are required which will make the purchased machine obsolete earlier than expected. So, ito yung isa sa mga decisions na uh, pag-aaral ng isang uh, engineer. Last one is service or quality improvement. So in this category, uh, this include any activities to support the improvement of productivity, quality, and customer satisfaction in the service sector, such as the financial, healthcare, and retail industry. So for example, uh, uh, this figure is to make customized blue jeans for women, a new computer system is being installed at some retail stores allowing women to place custom customized orders so also na yung mga custom customization so this uh uh jean producing company is naglalagay sila ng automated na uh, compu uh, computer where a customer can customize kung ano yung gusto niyang jean so uh, the process is a sales clerk measures the customer using instructions from a computer as an aid so the clerk then enters the measurements and adjustments of data according to the customer's uh, reaction to the, to the samples. Then the final measurements are relayed to a computerized fabric cutting machine at the factory and the barcodes are attached to the clothing to track, track it as it is assembled, washed, and prepa prepared for shipment. So say this is a new feature for a uh, gene producing company. So, tumatanggap din sila mga customized orders. So, the question here is, how many more genes, or yung kailangan ng analysis dito is, how many more genes would the manufacturer need to sell to justify the cost of additional 
tailor. So, uh, of course, so meron na mga uh, uh, machine tailors or uh, automated tailors. So, kailangan mong i-balance out kung i-project na at this specific number of uh, genes, ito yung kailangan natin to uh, para mabawi yung mga additional na uh, cost. So, this analysis should involve a comparison of the cost of operating additional robotic tailors with additional revenues generated by increased gene sales. So, um, by adding these additional tailors, robotic tailors, so, uh, mag, uh, may karagdagan din na sales kasi uh, yung mga tao ang gusto nila customize. So, marami may ang ganyan na bibili sila. So, ibabalance ako ng isang engineer kung uh, in how many years or months mababawi yung additional cost. So, i-analyze niya kung uh, feasible ba yung idea na yun, yung maglalag ka ng robotic tailors. Okay, so, uh, references, uh, Fundamentals of Engineering Economy, 3rd edition, Sean S. Park, and uh, also from Engineering Economy, W.G. Sullivan, et al., and Engineering Economy, 7th ed., uh, Blank and Tarkin. So, that ends our module 2. And thank you for listening and have a good day.